guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm recording this voiceover for the second time because I thought I had a lot more footage than I actually do. Um, so I apologize for the shorter-ish video, but it's fine to make it quick. It's all right. Um, as usual, I've given up on my habit tracker for the month. Um, I actually think that this is the last time that I filled it in. Um, and yeah, I did make a habit tracker for July. I was gonna say like, oh, maybe you, that I'll learn. Maybe I'll learn, but like, I've already done my July plan with me at the time that I'm filming this voiceover and I made a habit tracker. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I do have one. It's on one page at the very least, so it's not like two pages of trackers. Um, but you guys will see that in my July plan with me, which is going up on Tuesday, the 30th of June. So the very last day of June, this video is going up on the 25th, or at least it should be. And there should be another video going up on Sunday that is more art oriented. And I know that in the last video, I was talking about how plan with me's are going to go up on Sundays regularly. And they are, um, my schedule is just a little bit off because of a lot of different things that you can probably put the pieces together um, with what's going on with that. But anyways, with this spread, I'm actually looking at it right now because um, Wednesday is the last day on this spread. Today is the last day of using this spread. Um, it's very like scrapbooky, which I really like. I kind of went with for like a pink and brown and blue theme. And I got the, um, what are they called? The Mild Liner Brush Pens. <laughs> um, I got them this week, so I wanted to use them with a spread. <clears throat> so I decided to do that. I used the smoke blue one for all of the lettering um, on this spread for the whole week. And it actually looks really, really cute. And I ended up having a washi tape that like sorta kinda matched it, um, that I used on the little weekly bar tab thing that you guys will see in just a second um but yeah just as like a mini review i guess i really do like them they do feel pretty similar to tombos i'm actually pulling one out right now and comparing it to a tombow um cindy gunter baldo did a review of them and they are about the same size um like lengthwise and width wise but I would say that the Tombow is like it's um what's the word that I'm looking for it's like less flexible I would say that the mild liner is like more floppy um it's not floppy though like it's not like a fiber brush is, has like no control like it has a pretty good amount of control um it's just a little bit soft. Softer is the word that I'm trying to say. It's softer than a Tombow is. Um, so that's that. But I do really like them. And one thing that I kind of look for in a brush pen is the ability to letter within like the five millimeter dots on a bullet journal spread. So I can definitely do that with these. I did it for all of the five days that I tracked or that I had on this page. Um, and you guys will see me letter the week of title and then two of those days. You guys will kind of get to see me do that in a little bit. Um, so it's definitely possible. Um, it's a little bit harder, but I've been lettering forever. So I just can kind of make it work at this point. Um, but it's definitely possible to do that and it's not it's like a it's like a tombow basically it's just a little bit softer so it's a little bit harder to control um and you guys kind of got a glimpse of all of the colors and everything that i was playing around with um but yeah there it is you can kind of see that it has that ombre effect which i really really like um that does kind of go away i think now that i'm looking at the spread in person um after all this is dried down it definitely looks more apparent on camera than it does in person, um, which is totally fine. Uh, yeah, it definitely doesn't have so much of an ombre effect um, in person, which is totally fine. I do like the flat color look as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's 
about all that I have to say. I really hope that they come out with all of the colors because coral, I think coral pink is one of the colors and that is, oh my god, my absolute favorite color. And having that in a brush pen would be so, so nice. Um, so hopefully that happens in the near future. Um, <laughs> back to the spread, I suppose. Um, so this spread was kind of for like an in-between week, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, it was meant to go from Friday, June 19th to Wednesday, June 24th, which is today, the day that I'm filming this voiceover. Um, and it did go that way because um, I'm dog sitting for my parents and not planning on using my bullet journal pretty much at all while I'm gone. I actually don't even think I'll bring it with me. Um, but yeah, I just decided like I need it for this last like little push of finals and everything. And then after that, I need a break. Um, I'll definitely use it <laughs> next week. Don't worry about that. Um, you guys will kind of see how all of that is set up when I do my July plan with me. Um, but I just needed like a do whatever you want, throw everything and see what sticks on the page kind of spread. And I definitely did that. <laughs> and I am very happy that I did because I've definitely sparked my, my bullet journal inspiration again. Um, but I can't remember if I talked about this already because I'm filming this twice. Um, but my kind of color scheme was that like kind of tealy gray blue color and then pink and black and some brown with the craft paper, but I didn't really go into that too much more beyond using craft paper. Um, it's mostly like pink and that blue, like sharky kind of blue color. It's called, I should know, Ugh, I didn't want to have to look, hold on. It is mild smoke blue is the one I'm looking for. I was going to say shark blue, but it's smoke blue. Um, it's mild smoke blue if you're curious about the color. Um, and then just some washi tapes, pieces of scrap paper, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and yeah, I like how the spread ended up turning out. Uh, I'm sure that you guys will see it on Instagram real soon. <laughs> But yeah, what else is there to talk about? I'm trying to like not spoil my July plan with me because that's what I really want to talk about because wow, I really love how my spreads came out for that. Um, but you guys will see that very, very soon. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, oh, using striping tape to mark off when I'm dog sitting. I absolutely love doing that. I needed to use a different ruler to cut it off because it's a little jacket. Um, but I really, really like using that to block off time when like, oh, I'm on vacation or this is finals week or whatever is going on. Um, so yeah, that's <laughs> just a tip. If you have like skinny washi tape, that's pretty much the only thing that I use skinny washi tape for, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't really like using it for much else because it's not like I don't know, wide washi tape is like decorative and skinny washi tape just like isn't really for me. It's more of like a useful kind of thing. But now I'm rambling about washi tape and <laughs> the video is almost over. So I will let you guys enjoy this last little bit. I hope that you have a great weekend and I will see you with another video on Sunday. Bye.